These are top Canva hacks that you're gonna use all the time. Clicking on Create Design button, be sure to not use the default sizes that you see inside the Canva. The best option will be click on Custom Size and multiply the default dimensions on two. In this way, you can be sure in the best quality of your image. As in this video, I create Amazon image for main listing. I will set up the next dimensions and if you use image for online purpose, be sure to set up your pixels. To add your photo inside the board, be sure to not click File, Import Files and choose the file, as this action takes so much extra time. Instead, just open folder with your file on your device and just drag and drop the file, and it will appear in your uploads. In Canva, you can use a quick removing background. For this, select the photo, click on Edit Photo button and choose Background Remover. By clicking on this border and drag, you can change the original photo frame to the new one for your comfortable future work. Also, by clicking on the corner and dragging with the mouse, you can enlarge the product or decrease it. To get rid of not perfections that appear after removing the background, just click on this icon near the background remover, where you can erase more or restore some parts of your original photo. Change brush size for your comfortable work and just erase or add parts that are missing. To zoom in your photo, use slider from the bottom. Also, you can scroll up and down the image by using the slider from the side. Just be sure that your zoom slider is around 50%, so the side slider could appear and you could use it. Also, you can scroll the mouse wheel up and down, which will allow you to reach the same effect. To make additional color adjustments to the photo, just select the photo, click Edit Photo button and open Adjust section. Here you can use Auto Adjust option or make needed color changes customly. To increase details on your photo, be sure to not miss a Sharpness slider. And if you would like to reset all adjustments and try something new instead, just click on Reset Adjustment button. If you need to add shadows on your photo, as in my situation, just open Element section and type Shadow in search bar. Click See All near Graphics and you will see a wide range of shadows that Canva offer. Just click on the shadow that you like and it will automatically appear on the photo. Place it perfectly on your opinion and when it's ready, don't forget to click position and backward to place it behind or under the product. And be sure to not limit yourself only with one shadow, as for reaching realistic results, this is a great idea to add more shadows on the photo. And if you feel that effect is too harsh, just select the needed shadow, click such icon from the top menu bar and decrease the opacity of this shadow. Adding additional details on the photo is the best way to make it catchy. So open the element section and type in search bar some additional details as the leaves in my situation. You can set up additional filters by clicking on this icon near search bar. The best filters are choosing free or pro elements and elements that already goes with transparent background. And the best section for this goal is photo section. Just click on the photo that you like the most and adjust its size and location on the future image. If you need to flip this photo, just click on the flip button from the top menu bar and choose needed for you option. Canva also is a great source of catchy icons. So just type in search bar in graphics section the icons that might be interesting for you, as for example Made in Germany icon that can highlight the high quality of the product for potential buyers and play the icon on the photo to attract and keep the attention. If you have some troubles with overlapping elements and you find difficult to move one or another element, just select any of the element and click position and layers. Here you can see all elements that are located on your photo and you can easily select and drag one or another element. Here you can also change the background color color by selecting the background layer, click on the colorful square and choosing any new background that fits better on your opinion. To move all elements on the photo together, just click with left mouse button and select all elements, then click with right mouse button and choose group. This is very handy when you need to center the composition like this. To download this photo from Canva, just click Share button and choose Download. Here, choose correct type for your future image, leave the size as it is and set up the best quality. And don't forget to subscribe on the channel and follow for more Canva tricks in the future.